Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all doing well and I want to say welcome to everybody. I see my pups are in the background. <laughs> I started this video a while ago and they just started going nuts. Um, I think there was a squirrel or two back there so they'll probably do it again. So anyway, <laughs> you think they would get used to them. They do that every time. There's some days they won't do nothing and then there's days they act like they ain't never seen one. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys are all doing good. It is absolutely gloomy today. <laughs> I'd like to have another day like yesterday, but it's cloudy and gloomy and, and it's colder too. So I'm hoping I'll be able to finish my video outside today. If not, I'll uh, pause it and I'll go inside and finish it in there where it's a lot warmer. But anyway, I wanted to get up here and share with you guys some things that I have finished. Now, some of this I've had finished for a little while, but then I got started on those pound puppies, and I've been doing nothing but the pound puppies except for last night. And uh, I took some time off <laughs> and made something last night, and then uh, and kind of actually just got through sewing the part onto it today, and then wanted to come out here and share with you what I have worked on. And then I'll get started on them pound puppies again. All right. Um... Now, the first thing I'm going to share with you is, um, are a couple of dishcloths that I've been, I've been wanting to make some new dishcloths besides just, uh, themed ones, just, just a pretty stitch. And so I got online and I found one and it's by the crochet crowd and it's called, I got my notes here, the crochet dishcloth. And so as soon as I seen it, I knew I wanted to make some with this stitch. And here it is. <laughs> I think it turned out so pretty. And like I said, it's it's really, I love the colors. This is, uh, oh, peaches and cream, and it's called Spring Blue Stripes. And I had bought this last year, like a couple of uh, cakes of it. And so I thought, you know, I've got a lot of cotton in there, and I thought I need to start just whipping up a bunch of dishcloth. So that's what I'm going to do. So I kind of went with the blues because, you know, January, well, here I said I wasn't going with the theme. <laughs> Well, January, you know, the blues and the cold and, you know, the snow and everything. So, I guess you can say I kind of am in a way. <laughs> I guess what I mean was I wasn't going to put like an applique on it or anything like that. So, we'll go with the theme by the colors. How's that? <laughs> so, I wanted to do one like this. And I think it's really pretty. And like I said, I love the texture on it. Uh, I can't remember what stitch we used because it's been a little while. But anyway, it's... Um, I used a five millimeter hook and it was really easy to do and i love the the like i said the texture and i love the scalloped edge around it as it does it looks like uh snow going around it <laughs> so i ended up making two of them and it worked up really quick and i got two of them two of them out of one little skein and i still had a little bit left that i can start on another because i think i got another little cake of it so anyway a lot of fun to make and i'm going to be making uh, some more using this uh, design here and I'll put a link down below if you want to go uh, make you some if you're needing some like me I definitely need some I've wore the life out of mine between me and hubby <laughs> he helps do the dishes too if we don't put them in the dishwasher we'll just uh, do dishes so sometimes it don't take long for that dishwasher to get full and you still got dishes left over to have to wash <laughs> but anyway so that's what I got there I'm gonna throw that back in my basket there now the next thing that i am going to share with you is okay pamela from pamela's adoring crochet came out with a um, tutorial on on make on how to make a basket and um, she came out with this right about the time i believe we did the book review on the the book that olive from string ding ding put out and it's called plenty of fish in the sea and i've got mine sitting right here and uh and i love this book <laughs> And so she did a review. She got one too and she did a review. But when she was doing her review, she actually made a basket to put all of hers in that she had made from the book. And when I saw that, I thought, I'm going to do that too. So I went, it's been a couple of weeks ago, and I made up a couple of her baskets. And I absolutely love them. So I'm following your lead, Pamela. <laughs> because like I said, she had a basket and she had all the amigurumis in it. And then... And it's for her grandson, and I think she had his initial on it. So I wanted to make a couple of them because I knew from the ones I'm going to be making in the book, and then there's another designer I'm going to be making some of hers, I needed two of them. So here's how mine turned out. Now, I went and picked out all the blues 
of the scrap all my scrap balls that had the blues in it and the greens in it because I wanted it to look like the uh, the ocean water and I think it turned out really pretty I love a scrappy project now the only thing I did different on mine is I did the crab stitch on the top I wanted to give a little bit more of a maybe a detailed edge up there on the top and that's just the reverse single crochet which I absolutely love I didn't know if I would or not but I do I love that stitch and so I thought it kind of gave it a fun edge. So that's what I did there. And you hold, um, I think it was three strands together. And I believe I used an eight millimeter hook. But I will put a link down below where you can go uh, if you want to make you a basket. Uh, I'll put a link down below to Pamela's tutorial. So I made two. Because I'm following her lead and I'm wanting to make me a bunch of amigurumis out of this book right here now i already made whenever i got my book i did the review and i made this one right here and i think this one was called the uh, dumbo octopus so i did that one and then I, I had talked about doing this one here so let me show you what i did <laughs> i'm so excited about it now there is another designer that i'm going to be making some of hers that she came out with and i got it as a free pattern whenever she came out her okay it's a left-handed crocheter and if you follow her she's always given really good sales like 40 percent off sometimes 50 percent off now a lot of times around christmas um she will uh gi give you a free pattern is what i'm trying to say <laughs> so this last christmas she had where you could go and get one of her patterns valued up to eight dollars and so i went and checked it out and i seen some that she had and I got them and I'm super excited about it and because I'm going with an ocean theme hers are like little pirates and so I'm going to be making some pirates to go along with this and there's something else that's going to be going along with this that I'm doing <laughs> now the first one that I made out of the next one that I made out of the book which actually let me show you the first one which was the Dumbo octopus I'm getting ahead of myself I showed this back whenever I did my review and this is it <laughs> i love this little thing he's so cute now i did this out of some hobby lobby i love this yarn in pink and i think he's so cute and he's got his little safety eyes now that was the first one that i had done let me i'm gonna put him i'm gonna put him in my other basket as i'm talking about him now the next one that i ended up doing was this one right here <laughs> i thought i think she's so cute and i had to make her and so let me see if i can find her in here i just love this book i can't say enough about this book i love it because it's spiral bound you can just find your pattern and just open it right up and it's got the cutest i guess i can show them to you <laughs> look at all those aren't they adorable i can't wait to make this one right here but they're all just super cute and i'll put a link down below where you can go if you'd like to purchase you one too Okay, let's see. Back to what I was doing here. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I should have bought, bookmarked them. I can tell I'm getting cold now because when I start getting really cold, I have a hard time uh, turning pages in a book. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, here she is, and there goes my paper. So I probably will have to pause you here in a minute. But there she is, and it's called Mermaid. Isn't she cute? Oh, I just love her. So... I, I'm going to leave it like that because I got a couple of more to show. I made her. <laughs> I had so much fun making this little mermaid. Oh my goodness, I do. I absolutely love this little doll. She's so cute. And there's one of my hair stuck in her hair. <laughs> but, okay. Now, I used a 3.2 millimeter hook. Olive uses a 4. So, mine turned out a little bit smaller than what hers would have. But I used... Um, there's a kitty cat hair now. I use Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in peach. Um, this is a scrap ball of a purple that I have. Uh, this is that main, no, I think that's Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in that real pretty bright green. Oh, I can't remember. Is it lime, lime or lime? I can't remember. And this is, um, I believe that's that, um, uh, mainstay metallic teal when I, I that one's my favorite and our walmart still doesn't have the metallic yarn in yet <laughs> maybe one of these days but anyway i did her hair in that red heart super saver cherry red 
and then I gave her a little smile. Now hers doesn't have a smile, but I went ahead and gave her a smile, and I gave her a cute little nose, because uh, Kelly, oh Kelly, what is the name of your channel? I can't remember. She, I'll put a link down below, and I'll put it across right here. Uh, she put a nose on hers and a little smile, and I thought it was the cutest thing, so I'm, I decided I wanted to put one on mine too. And then I put a little bit of white around her eyes there to kind of make it pop a little bit. <laughs> I just think she's so, so cute. And now one thing I did forget to do, I usually add blush to their cheeks right there because it kind of makes them pop more. I just think she's so cute. But anyway, that was my first one that I uh, made since the octo, the octopus that I made to put in the basket. Now the second one, which which is one of my other favorite ones, and it is the seahorse. <laughs> I love this little guy too. Uh, he was a lot of fun to make, and I did this one out of that uh, mainstay anti peel, and it's the colorway green. And I thought that would be the perfect color for a seahorse. And then I did it in the mainstay yellow. But I, it's the first time I've ever made a seahorse too. So I think it turned out so cute. And then he's got his little safety eyes. <laughs> it's so fun and cute. And I used the same size of hook to make him too. And then I made the crab. <laughs> Had to have a crab in there. So... I made him out of the Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Red. So, a lot of fun to make these to add to the basket. So, that's what I made there to go with it. So, while I was thinking of making these amigurumis, the other thing that I wanted to make was another baby blanket. And so, what I wanted to do was to do an ocean theme. And so I decided to do the one that Maria's Blue Crayon has. And since I had so much fun making the one during Vlogmas, the Christmas one, I wanted to make another baby blanket, and I chose to do the ocean one. And so here it is. I got started on it, and the first one that I did was the crab. And so I kind of, that's what I was going with is whatever square that I showed, I wanted to make an amigurumi to go along with it. <laughs> so I did the crab and I think it turned out so cute and it was a lot of fun. Now there is a lot of sewing though. <laughs> so it took me a while to sew this one on. Now I used the Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Red and this is Mainstay White and that is what the square is too. And I just did some uh, whip stitches for their eyes. Now, Maria uses safety eyes, but this is going to be a baby blanket. So I decided just to whip stitch. And this is that mainstay anti-peel green that uh, Walmart finally got some in. Or our Walmart had it, which another Walmart didn't have it. And then the next square that I ended up doing was a seahorse. <laughs> so I just think it's so precious. And I did it in... A scrap ball of yellow that I had in another scrap ball and it almost looks like a coral color but I don't know what it is really because it was a scrap ball but that's the first row that I got done so I'm kind of going with a little theme here I, whatever uh, applique that I make I'm going to make that as the next amigurumi to add it for the basket <laughs> so Anyway, I used a five and a half millimeter hook too on the squares and everything. And these squares are a lot of fun to make. I do. It, you get it's just it's mindless. You know, you can once you do it a couple of times, you'll remember, and it's you can whip them up really fast. And I'm just doing single crochet like I did on the Christmas one to give it a, a fun little edge there. So that's what I got there. Okay, I'm gonna pause you for a minute while I go pick up my paper that went flying away. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Actually, I'm going to put it under the book this time. <laughs> now, I, like I said, I'm having so much fun making that blanket. And I'm actually going to be doing another baby blanket with another theme to it. I just haven't gotten really started on it, but it's going to be a farm one. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I have bought the pattern. It's a paid-for pattern. And was, whenever I bought it, I was thinking, well, one of these days I'll get started on it. So I kind of got started on it whenever I started working on this one, but... Once I get done with my pound puppies, I kind of want to get to cranking on this one and the other one. So I'm super excited to want to share with you guys. And 
and with it I'm also going to be um, making amigurumis to go along with it <laughs> I got an idea on how I'm going to do what I'm going to be uh, putting them in now what I'm going to do with these amigurumis is I'm just going to leave these in the basket and I've got a playroom in there for the grands and they can just uh, play with them but I am going to be making a special little uh, lovey to go along with the ocean themed one and one to go along with the uh, farm blanket one too so I can't wait to share it with you guys and I'll like I said I'll put links down to everything I've been talking about if I forget to mention that now the next thing I'm wanting to talk about let me find see if I can get my notes here without them flying around I had a lot of fun making this next one and it's one of my favorite critters <laughs> now Stephanie from Stephanie's Yarn Escape is doing the Attack of the Amigurumi 2022. Now, she did this last year, but I didn't I didn't know of her channel last year. I don't know how I missed it. But anyway, um, I just happened to find her channel this year. <laughs> and so, um, she's doing the Attack of the Amigurumi 2022. And I will put a link down below to her video where she talks about it. And so, uh, I decided I wanted to join because it looks like it's a lot of fun. And you guys know how I love making my amigurumis. And so, I got the one that she's uh, talking about that you do for this month. Because there's going to be one for every month. And she's going to tell you, you know, basically which one will be for that month to uh, make. And then you go and you post it in her Facebook uh, group that she has. And so, I was super excited when she mentioned the one... For this month and it's the nocturnal the ones that uh i guess that come out at night <laughs> but anyway the nighttime critters is what i always call them but anyway i was super excited as soon as she said that because i knew exactly which one i wanted to make and i've mentioned it in some of my earlier videos they're one of my favorite critters and i know some people think they're really ugly and i guess in a way they are kind of they're kind of homely i guess you could say <laughs> but i think they are to a point where they're they're cute so let me get him out here <laughs> And this is a paid-for pattern that I found on Etsy. Let me get him all straightened up. Of course, you've probably just seen a little bit of him there. <laughs> it's a possum. <laughs> you guys know, the ones that know, that's been watching me for a while, know that I love possums. <laughs> and so as soon as she said that, I knew I had to make me a possum. And I have never, I have never made a possum. If I remember, I, I have made a possum scarf. Which, I need to go get that. I'm going to go get it. Okay, I got to start my video again. <laughs> I guess it kicked me off a while ago. But anyway, before I show you my scarf, the name of Kelly's channel is Crochet Mall for Life. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot it, but sometimes my brain just doesn't click. <laughs> but anyway, she is a super, if you guys don't know her, she is a super sweet lady. And I absolutely love watching her channel. So if you don't know who she is, I'll put a link down below where you can go check out her channel. I do. I absolutely love Kelly. So, but anyway, my scarf, my possum scarf. Now I made this. Oh my goodness. It's been a couple of years. It's more maybe. Uh, it's been probably about three years ago or maybe four. I don't know. But anyway, it is a paid for pattern. And I don't really remember who the designer is, but I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out. But it is a possum scarf. <laughs> I had so much fun making this thing. And like I said, I love this. <laughs> and anyway, I love my possum. So, like I said, I don't remember who the designer is. I could use this right now. <laughs> but uh, I had a lot of fun. I wish there was a way I could, maybe if I twist it around enough well if I was standing up you could probably see it a little more so but anyway <laughs> I did I had so much fun making this but anyhow um, back to what I was talking about the attack of the amigurumi and my uh, possum that I made oh my goodness I had so much fun making this and this is a paid for uh, pattern I, as soon as I heard her talking about it, I knew I had to go and make me one. And so I went online and I found one. And it is a paid-for pattern. And it is, the name, I found it in Etsy shop. And it's called Toys Ivana. And um, I paid like a dollar eighty for the pattern. I think she had them on sale. And she might still have them on sale. But uh, 
it's made out of uh, the bulky velvet yarn and so you, you guys know how I love my velvet yarn and I knew as soon as I seen it this was going to be the one so uh, I ended up doing it with some scrap balls that I had which this is the mainstay white and this is the mainstay gray and then the mainstay black and then this is um oh the dollar tree the chanel yarn that they have pink but i just think he is so cute he's got his little safety eyes in there <laughs> and i used a oh goodness a five five and a half millimeter hook whenever i made this and i made it last night because as soon as uh like i said as soon as uh I knew I found it I needed I wanted to make it so and so I, this morning actually actually right before I came out with you t uh, this evening I sewed the feet on so he's got the cutest little feet <laughs> and little tail so cute and soft <laughs> squishy but anyway I do I love this so I'm going to be putting this in her Facebook group for the attack of the amigurumi of 2022 <laughs> So, I'll put a link down below if you'd like to make you a possum. <laughs> anyway, I do. I love possums. It'd be kind of cool to have one as a pet. I've mentioned that before. My hubby actually has a friend who does have one as a pet. And she rescued it. And she does. She loves that thing. <laughs> All right. Now, that's what I have to share there with you. Now, the other thing that I am super excited about, while I was sitting there working on my pound puppies this morning uh, you know I always get up on YouTube and uh, while I'm looking at my pattern on my computer and I start watching everybody well I've been kind of anxious to see what Jada has been want, uh, what she's going to come out with on her uh, calendar for the new year well before all of this oh a couple of weeks ago I got thinking about wanting to try to do some more Tunisian crochet now last year I had talked about it and I actually did something and I've got it with me here. I'm going to show you. I only made one thing with it besides a little couple of, I think I might have showed it. I don't remember. It's been so long ago where I was practicing on some, but I had talked about getting me some hooks and everything. And uh, I think I might have even, I don't know if I used a crochet hook on it or if I have a Tunu another Tunisian hook that I don't know where it's at. But anyway, it, it's been a good while. But I was thinking about this the other day, and I thought, you know, I would like to start doing it again because it is fun. I enjoy doing it whenever I was doing it, and but I kind of just, I wasn't feeling good whenever I started a after a while, and you know, about all that. And so I kind of just put it to the side and uh, didn't think about it anymore. But I did eventually get me some hooks. Uh, I thought, well, I don't want to spend a fortune on some unless I really, really am interested in it and so I went and picked me up a couple from Hobby Lobby and let me see if I can find them and this might have been the one I used before I'm thinking it is this is the one I used to make what I'm going to show you here in a minute and this is a boy and it's a 5.2 and it's an eye and I guess they call these Afghan hooks. Like I said, it's all new to me, so it's it's going to be a learning experience. And so when I was at Hobby Lobby, and this was last year I bought this one, it is, an, yeah, it's an Afghan hook, and it's Yarnology, and it's a size H. And see, I hadn't even tried it with it. It's been still in the package. <laughs> and so anyway, I was thinking about it, and I thought I'd like to see if I can find something online and maybe get started. And I know... Uh, Tony from what is her channel? TLY. Uh, the one that she's the one that I made the Daphne blankets from, and she does. She has some awesome patterns up there. Wonderful tutorials and everything. And I just I do I love her stuff. I love her. She's really a good teacher too. And so, and uh, and I've made like three of her Daphne blankets. But anyway, I was thinking. I thought well. I'd like to see if I can find something that, you know, I can maybe do throughout the year. And oh my goodness, it was like almost as if Jada read my mind. <laughs> because while I'm sitting there watching the YouTube video, I got notification where she just came out with one. And she came out with one. And let's see if I wrote down what it was called. I probably did. Oh, Totally Tunisian K 
calendar blanket. That is what it's going to be this year, 2022. She is going to be doing a Tunisian square for each month for the calendar blanket. And I couldn't be more excited about that. As soon as I saw it, I clicked on it and oh my goodness, I am super excited. So now I've got something. I've got a wonderful teacher. You guys know that Jada, I've learned how to crochet from Jada. She's one of them. And so super excited about it and for her to be wanting to do a square for each month and starting out with a simple one which i can't remember a simple stitch or something like that and she's yeah i am excited so i'm anxious to get going with it now i'm gonna try to get my pound puppies done so i can get going on it and start working on some of this other stuff that i've been talking about but i'm anxious i'm really super excited about doing this square now i'm going to show you the one i did make with the Tunisian hook that was uh, last year and this thing has been used a lot and it is a little dishcloth <laughs> now I used that little hook there and of course it's got stains on it and everything <laughs> but uh, that's what I made whenever I made the very first Tunisian thing was this right here and I love the way it looks it looks like knit doesn't it <laughs> and I love that it is so cool and so I decided that's what I want to do. I want to make that calendar blanket. So that's my goal or my intentions or whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm planning on doing <laughs> once I get these pound puppies done. But anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off here. I'm starting to get cold, <laughs> starting to shake. And anyway, I'm sorry I've been all over the place, but you know, that's who I am all over the place. <laughs> things happen so <laughs> things come up and I gotta pause or I forget something or whatever but anyway yeah I'll put links down below where you can go check out the tutorials um, Pamela's tutorial Jada's tutorial uh, Kelly's channel uh, a link to the book of this book I absolutely love this book I really cannot say enough about it it's like Pamela said it's my probably my, about my favorite amigurumi book that I have besides I've got several amigurumi books but I'm gonna say this one's my favorite and uh you know it's right up there with a couple of others that i got so it is my favorite i do love this book but anyway i'll put a link down below where you guys can go check it out if you want to get you one too but anyway i guess i'm gonna hop off here i'm gonna go in the house and warm up and then get ready to do my evening chores but anyway i hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed day and i will be chatting at you guys real soon <laughs>